Across the entirety of my time on the internet, I haven't seen drama reach this climax before. Today we are talking about chess drama. Again. And today, it hit its peak as Hans Niemann has filed a lawsuit, uh, I believe under some sort of federal jurisdiction, but happening in the state of Missouri, against Magnus Carlsen, Chess.com, Danny Wrench, and Hikaru Nakamura. I'll go ahead and speed run the breakdown of the chess cheating drama that's been going on for over a month now. It has been a non-stop, action-packed, wild and wacky ride straight into fucking drama Valhalla. It has been the gift that just keeps on giving. The carved wood drama is unlike anything I've seen before. It all started when Hans Niemann played Magnus Carlsen at a tournament. Hans Niemann beat Magnus Carlsen, which was a surprise to the entire chess world since Magnus Carlsen is the best. After losing, Magnus tweeted out some things that kind of imply that Hans cheated. Hans said, no, I didn't cheat. I just dusted your ass. Chess.com came out and said, well, Hans has cheated uh, a lot, a lot online. Hans Niemann even confessed openly to cheating in online games, but maintained his innocence in over-the-board physical chess matches. And then Chess.com came out with evidence against Hans Niemann that he has cheated in more online games than he initially let on, including online games for tournament money and more than he had initially said to the community. And that's where the drama had stopped until today where Hans Niemann published this lawsuit going after uh, all of the people that have been very staunchly against him and hard accusing him of cheating. We're going to talk about it and break it down in this video. Um, I found out about it on Twitter uh, like a couple hours ago. Oliver Roder here tweeted and it was getting retweeted. Hans Niemann has filed a complaint against Magnus Carlsen, Chess.com and Hikaru Nakamura in the chess cheating scandal alleging slander libel and civil conspiracy um so that came out a couple hours ago um so i don't know if he had inside info that this was coming out but then it's like okay that's juicy uh, and then hans neiman tweeted himself an hour ago my lawsuit speaks for itself obviously a reference to his own interview where he said my chest speaks for itself after defeating magnus carlson uh and he, he he's suing now the first thing and the most important fact about this is that he's suing in the state of missouri why I don't know. I mean, nobody in the, in the case is from Missouri, so I don't get it. But Missouri does allow cameras and recording devices in its courtrooms. So this perhaps means if it somehow gets to court that we could see a live stream of this, which 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 is which is exciting. This is exciting news. But here's the thing. I don't know if it'll get that far. Why? Well, the court case is a little nuts. <laughs> he is suing basically three people. He's suing Chess.com. All right, the website that posted a 72-page dissertation on how Hans cheated over the uh, online uh, and kind of backed Magnus' statement for $100 million. He's suing Magnus Carlson for saying defamatory statements <clears throat> for $100 million. Wait, is he su Oh, yeah, I guess Play Magnus is part of... Uh, wow. Wow. Wait, why? Who? 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 Wait, he's suing Hikaru too? Here is the report. And we are not going to read the entire report, but rather we are going to get into the most important parts of it. Um, and then I will give you my thoughts. Okay, bear with me. Um, this is crazy. So Hans Niemann is a 19-year-old self-taught chess prodigy. He brings this action to recover from the devastating damages defendants have inflicted upon his reputation, career, and life by egregiously defaming him and unlawfully colluding to blacklist him from the profession to which he has dedicated his life. So, this is already a lot. I mean, defaming, unlawfully colluding. So they have colluded, that's a big thing, right? That's saying that they have colluded to blacklist him, okay? It was not an individual decision by any party. In 2014, Neiman became the youngest ever winner of the Tuesday Night Marathon at Mechanics Institute Chess Club. So I think there they're going to list some of his accomplishment. Oldest chess club in the US, earning him US CF Master. December 2020, FIDE International Governing Body of Professional Chess awarded him uh, its highest honor by making him a Grand Master, uh, and so on. Chess is Neiman's life. His gift for playing chess earned him a scholarship to the prestigious Columbia Grammar and Prep School in New York City. Uh, and he attended uh, working full-time to support himself financially. Since the age of 16, his sole means of supporting himself have been from the money he makes teaching chess and participating in chess tournaments. Yes, I know that life as well. Magnus, 31-year-old chess player from Norway. He's presently five-time world champion. This is just background. Prior to the acts giving rise to this complaint, Play Magnus proudly touted uh, Hans as one of its ambassadors. Over the years, Play Magnus has grown into one of the two largest online companies in the world. 
second only to the multi-billion dollar behemoth chess.com. I wonder, is that, do they know that? Does anybody know that? Really, billion? Or is that just a figure of speed? <laughs> Good for chess.com, damn. And they just talk about chess.com, their site, how many people are use use it and then pretty much paint a picture like hey chess.com is the, the biggest website in chess a lot of members but they have a lot of influence not just in online chess but because of their connections and, and agreements and everything like they have, they have a lot of influence in just the overall world of chess and that can extend to, to tournaments over the board tournaments reputation invites stuff like that danny was named so for one thing i want to mention is I'm, am i surprised by the people named no because Hans named these people in his interview at the Sinkfield Cup. He specifically named Hikaru. He specifically named Magnus. He specifically mentioned chess.com. And he also mentioned Danny. He, he had mentioned like he had mentioned meeting uh, a chess.com executive. And I think he's referring to Danny. And then they had like, Danny was like, you know, the chess.com executive was being nice. I mean, there must have been something there that they've had some private discussions. And then after what Danny said more recently on Twitter and stuff, that rubbed hands the wrong way, which is why he went for chess.com and Danny. Um, yeah, probably has to do with his invite being rescinded. But anyways, there's that. Uh, there's not a big part about Danny. <laughs> just chief, chief chess officer, which is a cool title. But they just say international master, which is one level below GM, executive and public face. It's a very brief part. It's mainly on chess.com, play Magnus, Hikaru, stuff like that. Now this is where it gets interesting. According, Neiman asserts the following claims against his defendants. Slander, libel, unlawful group boycott under the Sherman Act. Good Lord. Tortuous into... I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Interference with contract and business expectancies and civil conspiracy. Seeks damages in an amount to be determined at trial, but no less than $100 million. Now the reason I'm saying this is confusing, okay? is because if you go to page 43 of this report, now I'm not a lawyer, okay? Or a data scientist or anybody that can prove anything statistically. I'm just a chess YouTuber and a guy who just wants to see some peace. Like we like chaos, but this is a bit much. This is what I don't get. He, cons he requests the court grant the following relief. The first cause of action, not less than 100 million. Second cause of action, not less than 100 million. Does this add up? This is what I'm confused about. Does that add up or not? Is it 400 million plus this one, specific amount of which to be determined at trial, plus prejudgment interest, and any other relief, costs, expenses, attorney fees? I mean, is he suing for 400 million dollars? And just for reference, here's the top 10 all-time prize money winners. They're not even breaking 10 mil. So it really seems like that number is way out of proportion here. Hans Niemann could play chess professionally for the next thousand years and never even come close to earning 100 million dollars. So. Those damages seem outrageous, but I'm not a lawyer, and from what I understand, this is very normal in defamation cases where they just put an absolutely astronomical number there just to try and get as much juice for the squeeze as possible and make it like as big and scary and intimidating as it can be. Uh, I don't think they're actually hoping to get that much. The problem is when you defame a public figure, for the public figure to correctly sue you for defamation... They need to prove actual malice. Now, I only know this because I went to journalism school, a degree that I barely use these days, but I still went and we did an entire semester on this uh, because it related to New York Times, uh, um, obviously uh, the news site, uh, newspaper. And, uh, and what that means is that if they're a public figure, uh, the person who said the false statement has to have said it with the knowledge it was false or reckless disregard for whether it was false or not. So not only do they have to prove that what Magnus said was false, so prove that Magnus saying Hans cheated was wrong, but they also have to prove that Magnus said it with the knowledge that it was wrong, so he just did it to ruin Hans's career, which it seems will be about as hard to prove that Hans cheated. So I don't think this court case is going to go anywhere, and don't just take my word for it. You can also take the word of Akiva Cohen, who is a litigator, um, of the commercial sorts, who said, again, this entire case boils down to, did uh, Carlson believe that Neiman cheated? I haven't seen anything alleged that he didn't. Uh, lots of psychoanalysis, but no facts to support. He knew it was false yet. That's the actual malice. Uh, and then he follows up that the Nakamura defendant was really weird, which I agree with. It was really weird. I guess Hikaru kind of stirred up a little bit of the insinuations at the beginning, but that is a bold... I feel like this is honestly just a flex. And 
they sent letters to all the defendants and it says in each letter that the defendant has 21 days to respond so we should be hearing back within the next few weeks uh, so yeah that's that's what happened today and I'm curious in the comments what do you think of the lawsuit do you think um, they're gonna pay up something do you think you know just what do you think we're not most of us aren't lawyers but uh, we're all entitled to an opinion and uh, whose side are you on